think that's going to raise immediate issues about your health. Can mm -hmm. you just talk about where that is right now? Well, that's pretty good. Um, you know, I took a couple hits there uh, last couple games, and uh, yeah, I would have liked to feel a little bit better after those, but uh, I think right now it's to make sure I have a healthy summer and make sure that uh, I feel good heading the next season. That's really the most important thing. And, um, you know, that's, uh, that's kind of where I'm at, so I'm making sure that you know, I have a good summer. But no setback, no like shoulder injury, knee injury, anything like that? No, 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 I feel pretty good. And uh, like I said, it's the last uh, year and a half has been tough, uh, tough to stay healthy. So um, I think the, the best thing to do is to, to give myself a full summer, get ready for next year and have a full season. You said a lot of uh, talk about Stalzy, <clears throat> where he may be, what they're going to be working out with contracts. How important is he to this team? How would you like to see this team configured, or do you want it to stay as is? Uh, no, he's very important. I mean, he's shown that uh, for a long time here. Um, you know, he's a, he's a complete player. He plays uh, against teams' uh, top players, and then that being said, he's, he's able to produce offensively as well. So... Um, he's a big part of our team, and um, you know, as far as contract stuff, that kind of thing, that's stuff you kind of leave up to guys individually, and they'll handle that. But uh, as a teammate, I have a lot of respect for him, and hope that uh, you know he'll be around for a long time. What about you, Sid? Um, are, are you are you looking at something right right after July first? Are you waiting till the CBA <clears throat> gets resolved one way or another? How do you feel about resigning? Uh, no real. Um, you know, I don't think there's any real definitive uh, decision there. I think it's it's going to be something that I'm sure the team and, and I'll both kind of wait to see what makes sense. And, um, you know, it's it's kind of hard being the, the situation that that is with the CBA and things like that, um, where typically it'd probably just be something that you'd figure you'd automatic start start talking pretty soon. It, it might it might be a matter of just kind of waiting to see how that plays out and what makes sense for, for both sides. You still you can't start until July 1st right now. I mean, unless yeah, something exactly, changes, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But um, yeah, meaning in a in a typical year, when I look back to the last time when I extended, is you know July 1st. You pretty much knew that that was something that was going to come up. Whereas now, um, you know, you might might wait and see as far as what makes sense with the CBA and that kind of thing. Dan and Rainbow said they had a hard time. <clears throat> The hardest part of this was not getting their hands around why there was a disparity between the regular season and the playoffs. Any, anything off the top of your head? Any fleeting first thoughts along those lines? Um, no, I mean, I is think, that the most frustrating thing to you? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, at the end of the day, you still, I mean, you try to put yourself in position to um, have a good transition from the regular season to the playoffs and. I think we did a pretty good job of that. I think down the stretch we were probably uh, guilty of letting a few more goals in than we would have liked, and um, you know we had leads in those first, you know, first couple games. There we had leads. I mean, you can't, um, you know, you can't sit there and say that we didn't have our opportunities. So at the end of the day, you got to play and, and make plays and execute, and, and we didn't do that. And, and I think everyone always wants explanations, as they should, but. Um, you know, at the end of it, you got to play. None of that stuff's automatic, and and you got to make sure you execute. And we we didn't do that. Is that a lesson about desperation hockey? It's hard to dial it up four games in a row. <clears throat> uh, yeah, it's it's tough, but I mean, I think guys' effort and want and care was all there. I mean, that's there's no doubt about that. I think guys wasn't a lack of effort by any means. I, I think every guy, you know, to a man would would agree with that. I think. At the end of the day, as a team, we didn't execute, and you know it wasn't it wasn't one guy. I think we we all made mistakes individually at, at different points, and uh, you just can't afford to to have that many mistakes and give up as many goals as we did in the playoff series and um, expect to win. This might be a little bit related to the Jordan Stall question earlier, but one thing that people have looked about looked at a lot, particularly with the CBA and whatever's going to happen with the salary cap, can the three center system, the three strong centers on the team, is that something that, that works for a team? Is that something you want to see continue? Uh, well, I think we've shown it it works um, for sure. I think we've we've shown that. But um, that being said, I mean, as as players, that's not up to us. I mean, that's. That's a decision for Ray to make, and how he sees, uh, you know, the team um, performing its best. And I, I think we've shown that 
uh, three centers can work. <laughs> I think there's no doubt there. So, um, you know, that'll be uh, that'll be up to Ray. So is there any part of you that wants to get to free agency, or is this just a matter of you want to get this? I mean, the CBA aside, I'm saying, but is yeah, 100%. Do you want to get this done this summer to stay here? Yeah, I mean, that's you know, that's the plan. I think that. Um, CB, if there's no, like I said, if there's no CBA discussion, you know, I would expect to be talking on July 1st, but that's the only thing really holding, I think, holding probably both sides to kind of wait a bit, um, but that's the only thing, yeah. Sid, uh, Dan, uh, Dan, Dan and Ray also said that they take responsibility for what happened in the playoffs. But how much responsibility do you, the players, take for what happened you know, in the playoffs in the series? Um, oh, I, I mean, I think we all do. You know, there's no, there's no doubt. Nobody's trying to, to hide from that. You know, we're, uh, you know, we're all disappointed with the way things ended. We expected much better, and um, unfortunately, there's not anything we can do about it now. We've got to, we've got to learn from this and, and be better for it. But I think, if anything, um, you know, the last, even the last few years, I think we realized that um, it's tough to win, and there's no. Just because you know you've, you've won before doesn't mean that uh, you know you can show up in the first round of the playoffs and, and walk through it. So um, you know, yeah, I have to learn some lessons like that. Sometimes we've got a tough one this year, and um, you know, I think we'll we'll be better for it. But it's definitely uh, a learning uh, learning uh, situation here. Did you have any type of symptoms after those big collisions? No, okay. no, I felt felt good. When you said, said that uh, you wanted to take a couple more weeks, or it would have been nice to take a couple more weeks, why did you come back when you did then? Did you need, in your own mind, X number of games to be ready for the playoffs and top performance? When, when did I say? Did you, at, the top, at the outset, did you say you wanted to take a couple more weeks there before you came back? Or were you talking about World Series? No, I was talking about World Series. Yeah. You were talking about World yeah. You want to take a couple weeks yeah. now yeah. going in. Okay. Yeah. Right. Speaking of Worlds, there's already, I guess, a little bit of backlash up in Canada. People are maybe a little upset that, that you aren't going to go represent Canada. I know that that means a lot to you after the mm -hmm. Olympics. I mean, is there something you could say to the people of Canada about that? Um, you know what? Uh, it, it would have been a great situation for me. I'm not I'm not hiding from the World Championships in a typical year. Um, I've got my old junior coach who's assistant coach there. I've got, you know, there's, there's Brent Sutter there, who, I, who was the coach when I uh, played for World Juniors, and they've got a great team. I mean, Typically, I'd be there in a second, but this isn't uh, a normal situation, and this isn't me um, trying to hide away from World Championships. I, I love playing for Team Canada. I don't think anyone can question that, and anyone who's questioning that right now, um, you know, I, uh, they obviously don't know me, or um, they're not thinking right, but I don't, uh, I mean, I don't have anything to say to that. Sid, when you hear people question the leadership and character in this room because of the way the playoff series went, what, what, what does that make you think? Um, well, you don't like to hear that. I mean, that's that's um, you know when when you're talking to um, guys who've been here for for a while, and you know we uh, we take that personally. But um, that being said, we did uh, we did lose in the first round, so um, that's our responsibility, and you know we have to we have to take that criticism, whether or not uh, we feel that was an issue. Um, you know that we might not agree there, but that being said, people are, are more than welcome to, to criticize that, and they're not happy, and we're not happy either. And everyone's trying to, you know, look for reasons, just like you know we're trying to evaluate what we did or what we could have done better. And um, you know, that's that's always the case when you lose. That's that's how it works. Outside of whatever Ray does or doesn't do with the team, the fact that I mean, you look, Vancouver's out too. Rangers are kind of on the edge. The competitive nature of the playoffs, is there something different that you guys have to do just in terms of pacing yourself during a regular season or conditioning or playing um, going forward in the NHL? Um, well, no, I mean, I think you just, I think in the playoffs you need, it's, it's timing, it's big plays, and um, it can be so many different things. I mean, when you think about, when I think about the playoffs, I think, you know, special teams come to mind and, um, you know, we weren't good there. You know, just that, just that alone. I mean, if you look at special teams, and even with some of the mistakes we did make, uh, if our special teams were a little bit better, um, we're still in the series. So I, I mean, we had a three nothing lead. We had a two goal lead in the other game. I, it's not a matter of you know what we just got into a series and got, you know, 
got into it and didn't have a chance to win it. I mean, we had uh, more than our fair share opportunity. We didn't close it out. And I don't know if there's really any way to kind of look back at things. I mean, we did a good job of closing the games. Our PK was one of the best in the league. Um, so I, I don't know if you can really look at those things right now, but you've got to learn from it somewhere.